As soon as they spawn out, they die, which is great. Oh, close to getting me, but no cigar for you. Hey everyone, Gameplay Vids 24 7 here. Welcome back to my Time Warpers gameplay walkthrough series for the PC. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Time Warpers. I do hope you're having a fantastic day out there. Thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's episode. Should be a good one. We're going to jump straight back in here. And to all the new members of my YouTube channel here, all the subscribers, thank you very much for tuning in. You guys are awesome. We've picked up quite a bit of new fans and viewers lately, thanks to Time Warpers. So yeah, thank you very much for joining everyone and subscribing, liking, commenting, doing all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. Now, we are back here. We've earned $137 billion since we've been away. So that's fine. What we're going to end up doing here is actually... Should we level up our click weapon straight away here? I reckon we'll promote our click weapon. Upgrade it a bit there. We do have... How much money do we have left here? 122 billion. Yeah, right. We'll upgrade our click weapon a bit and we'll level up the turret a huge amount as well. I really love the turret. I think it's an amazing ally to have on your team, definitely. And we'll finish off the rest of the upgrades into the drone there, I reckon. Or maybe pump up the click damage again. Yeah, right, we'll do the click damage again. No worries. Alright, so what are we up to right now? We're up to zone 36. Things are looking pretty decent right now. I do have to say, I love the movement system in Time Warpers, guys. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I'm sure there's people that do play this game that have actually got the, the movement system down pack. I'm hoping one day I can get a down pack as well to strafe around like a madman. Because I absolutely love strafing around, as I'm sure you guys can tell if you have watched the series so far. Oh, God. I almost got myself killed there. <laughs> If not killed, at least hit. Right now, we are one-shotting the mobs with the, the plasma rifle, so everything's looking pretty good for us. Not even going to lie right now, dude. I'm just going to try and buy that bottom upgrade there quickly. What's that one? Critical chance. Okay, we get a critical chance increase for our weapons. I think it's 5% increase if I read that correctly just then. The enemies are right in front of us straight away. They did not take any time whatsoever. Now, I do want you all to know as well, I post gaming videos every single day on my YouTube channel. So, if you do want to help an up-and-coming YouTuber, please uh, maybe take some time to subscribe. Now, the whole plan at this point is to really try and get to that Zone 40 boss. I am curious to see what is waiting for me at Zone 40. I'm hoping it's something good. I guess we are about to find out now, anyway. Alright, here we go. It's a big bug that we're going to be versing straight away. Should be easy. Yeah, this guy's dead. That's the end of that bug. Get owned. <laughs> Alright, uh, we got laser guidance, so I think, if I am correct, our bullets will follow where we're aiming. So, do we even want to bother putting that on the uh, the click weapon? Let's have a look here. There's a damage increase. I can't actually use my next perks here by the looks of it. My weapon's too low. That's alright, we'll have to try and level that up soon, I guess. Laser Guidance. I've just chucked on Laser Guidance there, and I've just chucked on the increased damage as well. But I don't think we can use Laser Guidance just yet until we level up our weapon. I think that perk's actually greyed out at this point. There is a healing station here. If you guys do not know, this is a healing station, okay? So if you're nearly dead, jump into these cones, and yeah, you'll be happy. Things are going pretty chilled right now in our walkthrough, guys. We haven't really ran into any major problems. We have had to grind a little bit on the... I think it was like the horde areas towards the end of each block of zone. So what I mean by block of zone, I mean, let's say we're on 41 right now. If we get stuck on 49... Uh, I'll consider that being stuck on the end of the block of between 40 and 50. So, yeah. Defeat zone 45 horde. The good news is there are some time cubes in zone 50. And the bad news, it looks like a charger ate them. Bloody charges causing us so much grief. That's right, we'll take them down. As you see, this is what I love doing. Just strafing around like a madman. Look at all that gold just floating around, dude. Just for the taking, man. Gotta love it. This game is so pretty, dude. Seriously. Like, come on, guys. Look at the colours on this game. For real. You tell me, in the last year, what have you seen a game that's actually this colourful? Like, that's clicker-based and, you know, FPS as well. Alright, we can prestige our drone, by the way, which I think I will do quickly. Just prestige my drone. Not too sure how much it's really going to help me in the long run, but either way. I'm hoping that it one-shots the mobs when it does hit them eventually. Let me just clear out these bugs. What if I used a launcher? Hang on, let's switch to a launcher quickly. How much damage will my launcher deal at this point in the game, hey? Now, I do not have cluster on or anything, but that shouldn't matter too much, right? I think cluster is definitely going to benefit us the most. So, we've got a splashing cluster unlock there, guys, to deal with a real big damage there to these little bugs. The only problem is I'm running out of ammo. 
<laughs> Just trying to recharge my ammo here as much as I can. It does go down quite a bit, especially since I don't have the next perk unlocked. But that's alright. We'll get there eventually, guys. Don't you worry. Here we go. Speaking of which, we're now up to zone 45, which is a horde. Now, where are they going to spawn? They're going to be all here. So where should I sit? Theoretically, I should probably sit up here, right? Let's find out together how this is going to go down. Here we go. Get ready. Oh, yeah. Rocket launcher definitely will come in handy for this one. Look at this. They just got crushed, bro. That is what you want to see, man. That's it. It's over already. We did it. Okay. What's this? Teamwork. I just got teamwork then. What's that going to do for me? Let's have a look at the upgrade. Overall DPS on the team. Okay. Can't even use that yet though, so it doesn't really matter. Here we go. 46 now. Take these bugs out straight away. Should I maybe use the plasma rifle now since the rocket launcher does run out of uh, ammo quickly? Better put on increased fire rate as well. Just put on punch there. Especially when you're down little like kill valleys like this. Any enemy that spawns is just going to get pulverized pretty much if you have a look at what I'm doing here. So what can we do with time cubes? We can time warp to an alternate timeline. I found a timeline where your active abilities have two times the energy. Can you find one with ten times energy? Get enough time cubes and we can make it happen. Cool. Alright, no worries game. So we're almost up at zone 50, man. I'm very curious to see what's actually going to happen once we do hit zone 50. It's going to be pretty interesting, definitely. Alright, almost up to zone 48 here, guys. Here we go, get ready. What is this? Big boys straight away reversing, okay. Oh, there's the bugs, okay, no worries. Alright, doing good. Oh, wow. Alright, they spawned a little bit too close to me for my liking. Alright, so I've got cluster and fire rate currently enabled on my launcher just to speed things up a bit. Especially when it comes down to reload time and stuff. I guess it would be energy recharge, technically. So as soon as they spawn out, they die, which is great. Oh, close to getting me, but no cigar for you. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. Pretty much you just aim at the floor, bro, and you kill all of them. I kid you not. This is just absolute mayhem. They spawn and they die. That's all there is to this game right now. Let's upgrade my weapon a little bit more. We get an ammo increase in a second. I think it's an ammo increase. Some sort of increase. I know that much. Alright. Zone 49. Here we go, guys. A whole bunch of little bugs. Our rocket launcher will make quick work of these little pests. Trust me on that one. Well, as suspected, we're absolutely dominating right now. <laughs> Cannot wait to verse the zone 50 boss guy. He's going to activate all my abilities on him as well. We're probably going to crush him. We'll find out very shortly. Right, here we go. Zone 50 boss. Collect the time cubes. Alright, do you see the time cubes? A blue glowing cube with a clock on it. Yeah, I'll have it out in a few seconds. Yep, let's go. He's almost dead. Oh, he's hit me. He actually managed to hit me then. That is not good for me. Don't you dare kill me, you big... Oh, I was about to swear then. <laughs> nice, we've taken him out and got 10 time cubes. First try, no problem. I've got the time cubes. Perfect, let's use them. Enter ghost mode. Get an overview from orbit. Alright, just upgrade my cube weapon again. Now we're in orbit. What is this? Start the time warp. We need to time warp to use the time cubes. Start a new timeline to receive 10 time cubes. Your progress will be reset, but you'll receive time cubes that improve team DPS by 10% each. Okay. I've just done a time warp. Choose timeline research. Feel free to experiment. We can respec any time you time warp. What research do you recommend? I recommend automatic fire energy and gold find. Okay. So he's telling me to do automatic fire energy, but I don't really use that too much, to be honest. I'd much rather pure DPS for the way I play anyway. I feel like that will work better for me. I reckon I'll level up the turret. Level up my click damage a bit. Increase the gold as well found. There we go. And I'll save the next time cube there. Let's start a new timeline. Here we go, guys. Alright, we're back on zone 1. It looks almost the same, but I feel stronger. Every time cube gives you and your robots 10% more strength. Even after you spend them on research. I'll get back to zone 50 in no time. Yes, we will. Alright, so we're back here in the normal mode, dude. Look at that big butterfly. Try and take him out. No, I cannot. Oh, this bug is going to get crushed anyway, so that's fine. Should we just whip out the plasma rifle? Take these idiots out. This is easy mode right now, guys. Come on, gang. Give me a challenge. We're pretty much one-shotting these mobs. That, nah, we're all done. Okay. 
Apparently we're getting timed, by the way. I didn't realize we're getting timed, so I'll try and do it as fast as possible then. Let's take these guys out. I'm not using a launcher right now, by the way. Done. Three second increase there on time completion. Let me repair the, the turret there. Just throw down a turret to help me out. Cleaning house right now, bro. Jeez. Upgrade my click damage there again. That's it, done. Let's continue our woods. Upgrade my click damage a little bit more there as well. I think my gun actually shoots faster now. As you can see, there's a couple of butterflies in the t uh, bottom left corner of the screen there. Don't know what that's all about. Maybe I should go check it out, guys. I, I did see a butterfly earlier. Do we have to collect them, maybe? Let's go have a look. Butterfly's back here. I know that much. There you go. I just captured a butterfly. There's another butterfly there, though. Got him. Uh, so those butterflies are captured. I don't know what it means. Now I need a blue butterfly, wherever that is. I've got no idea where the hell that blue butterfly would be. Interesting to me, though. There's a red butterfly there. Just got that red butterfly as well. So we got a lot of red butterflies, but no blue ones. Where could the blue one be? I've got no idea. I have to come back for that one day, I think. Is that another butterfly? It is another butterfly. What's this all about? There's butterflies everywhere. Zone 4 butterfly captured. Done. Alright, well look, either way, I'm going to wrap it up here, everyone. I do hope that you all enjoyed today's episode. Thank you very much for watching, as always. What's this? I already have the fire rate perk from this horde. If you collect 10 common fire rate perks, we can craft one uncommon fire rate perk. The perk drop chance can be increased with time cube research. Alrighty. This should be pretty easy. Get ready for this. Just taking them all down casually. Beautiful. Done. Okay. Will Zone 50 still have 10 time cubes? Yes. Alright, let's go. No problems. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really do hope that you all enjoy. I'll be back tomorrow for some more Time Warpers, alright? Great game. Having a blast on it, dude. Seriously. I will catch you all around, though. See you later.